Hello everybody, welcome to Mitchell PJ. Today's date, October 19, 2016. Our words for discussion is uncorruptible or incorruptible. In Romans 1.23, an exchange of glory of the incorruptible God for an image in the form of a corruptible man and of birds and four-footed animals and crawling creatures. In 1 Peter 1.23, For you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable, that is, through the living and enduring word of God. 1 Corinthians 15.53, For this perishable must put on the imperishable, and this mortal must be put on immortality. 1 Peter 1, four to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away reserved in heaven for you. Titus 2.7 In all things show yourself to be an example of good deeds with purity in doctrine dignified. This word defined as incapable of corruption not subject to decay or dissolution, incapable of being bribed or morally corrupted. The glory of the incorruptible God is incorruptible or uncorruptible. When we are incorruptible, the undefiled will fade away and heaven is reserved for you. Sometimes our good deeds may be corruptible because they are missing Jesus Christ in our life. When Jesus left his glory in heaven to come to earth and live as a man, he was tempted by Satan. But because he was also God, he was incorruptible or uncorruptible. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.